Hey everybody, Tyson France here with Motion Revolver uh, with another quick tip. Uh, this one's going to be pretty quick as far as quick tips go because um, we're just going to cover a few uh, error messages and other prompts that After Effects throws when opening um, a project with, uh, within After Effects. Um, I get a lot of questions about these with some of the projects that I create. Um, and being a reviewer on Video Hive, um, I get questions uh, regarding this as as well. Uh, a lot of times, these messages that you see aren't actually errors; they're just messages that you need to bypass um, and go into the project and then uh, fix from there. Even though most of the time, there's really actually nothing to fix. But anyway, I'm working with After Effects. Uh, Creative Cloud 2014 here. So uh, this is the latest version that Adobe has uh, released as far as After Effects goes. So I have a project here that uh, when I opened, it actually threw every single uh, message that I was going to cover. So I figured I would use it as an example. Um, as you can see, uh, we have four different projects here. Um, some of them require plugins, some of them are pre-rendered, um, which don't require any thir third-party plugins. But both of them were created in either CS 5.5 or CS 6. So now, as most of us know, After Effects is backward uh, compatible with previous versions. So as long as you have a newer version of After Effects, you can open older versions of projects that were created with with older versions of, of After Effects. So for example, because I'm using After Effects CC, I can open up, say, a CS3 project if, if I wanted to. Um, so for example, uh, if I try to open up this CS6 uh, plugin required project and click open, uh, the first dialog box I get is uh, this project must be converted from version 11.0.4 Macintosh 64 the original file will be un unchanged. This particular dialog box here seems to throw a lot of um, new users off, uh, people who aren't necessarily experienced using After Effects. Um, it is kind of confusing when you read it. It sort of makes it look like there's something wrong with the file when there really isn't. Uh, all this is is After Effects telling you that this project was created using an older version of After Effects. In this case, it was created using version 11.0.4, and it was created on a Mac. If this project were created on a Windows machine, it would just say Windows right here. Um, that's another thing that throws people off. Uh, like say, for example, since I'm on a Mac, if this would have been created on a Windows machine and it said Windows here, some After Effects users tend to think that, oh no, I can't use this this project on my Mac because it was created on a Windows machine and they get confused because they don't think they can use it and they need to uh, somehow acquire a Windows version. Uh, just so everyone knows, if you're new to um, Adobe products, as far as I know, every, every application that um, Adobe makes works on both Mac and PC. So regardless of whether platform you're on, um, whatever files you create and save using those Adobe applications will function on a cross-platform cr uh, basis. So you can switch back and forth if, if you want, and I can create projects on a Mac, which can be opened on uh, a, a Windows PC and, and vice versa. So don't let that trip you up. So anyway, this right here is not an error. All we have to do is click OK, and um, we'll see what comes up next. OK, so now we have another error here. Uh, this one is simply just saying the following layer dependencies are missing. There's nothing necessarily wrong with this. It's just telling you that you're missing font layer. You're, you're basically missing fonts. So I don't have the font Cool Vetica style style regular installed on my machine and that's fine i can just click ok and then if i really wanted to use that font i could find it online or wherever it may be and install it on my on on my computer reopen the uh the project and the font should be relinked uh properly uh 
granted they're you know as, as long as there aren't any font issues on your actual computer but anyway we just click OK here now this error is telling me that this particular project is missing two files so after effects cannot find two media assets that it needs to make this project function properly and uh, this is actually an error that needs to be uh, uh, fixed now this won't happen with all um, After Effects projects, this is just something that um, occurs if a project was not saved properly with the assets linked. So we we can click OK. Um, now the project will open, um, but as you can see up here, uh, the name has changed. So if we go to File, Save As, or or File Save, either one, uh, we can see that it was. It was changed to uh, um, After Effects added this converted text on the end. Um, so all we need to do necessarily is rename this whatever we want. I'm not going to name it, but uh, you could you know change the name to whatever you want and save the file on your computer, and everything will be functioning fine uh, beyond that. But we're going to cancel out of that. Um, one of the other errors we, we received was the missing file error, and that is usually denoted by this color bars thing here, uh, missing files. Um, one way to find the files on your machine, I've actually created another tutorial if you go to motionrevolver.com um, to tutorials, and uh, you, know, the, uh, you, you can watch this tutorial here, uh, which will help you find the assets that you're looking for. Now, um, Obviously, there's the problem where if your files aren't on the computer, you're not going to be able to re relink them. So that's another issue uh, unto itself. But anyway, those are some of the more common uh, After Effects dialog boxes that pop up. Um, hopefully, this clears up those questions that you may have and uh, hope you learned something today. Again, I'm Tyson France with Motion Revolver. Thanks for watching this quick tip.